Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to block out the basic colors of um, a pet portrait. Pretty much this is the starting point um, before you add all the details. And it's very important that you learn how to do this uh, with pet portraits. It'll make it a lot easier for you um, to draw later on if you give yourself a really good head start. So what you have to do is pick your image and put it in your canvas in um, Photoshop and align it in the way you would like to draw your portrait and then make the image transparent and then begin to draw an outline of the image on a separate layer. If you're new to drawing pet portraits, outlining uh, images like this is really helpful to teach you um, where to color. Uh, it'll give you a really good basic guidelines and kind of a frame of reference where to um, put things. So don't be, don't be afraid to trace an image. It's, it's a really great um, way to help you. And as you can see here, other than tracing the outline of the image, I'm also tracing the lights and the darks. And this will also give me a pretty good reference of where to put my um, light and um, dark colors. So there you go, tracing is fun. The other great um, pro to tracing is it will ensure that your um, images have the correct proportions, which is usually a struggle new artists have when they learn how to draw. And eventually later on you won't have to trace your images, you're going to learn your art skills will improve, but this is really great for beginners, I think. Once you have your outline, it is time to fill it in with a base color. As you can see, even though Chiquita is a black Labrador, I ended up using a um, kind of bluish, uh, kind of dark, dark gray, because I will be using a lot of blacks for shadows later on. And now it's coloring time. I am going to fill in first the lighter gray for um, the light color. And as you can see, this is where the guidelines really help out. It really um, reminds me where I'm supposed to fill in the colors and kind of makes it a little easier. And now I'm going to fill in a little white spot right here and um, add another layer for the nose. And I'm going to start to uh, add in the darker shades. So the image is starting to, it's starting to look like something. It's starting to take shape and it's starting to look three dimensional very slowly. And we're going to keep building these colors to make it to give it some dimension. So here I switched up the background uh, color. That doesn't matter at this point. Just occasionally switching up colors makes it a little bit easier to see things. And I started to add depth into the drawing by layering darker shades of gray in some of the areas where I already um, laid down the basic gray. And that is the magical joy of layering in an image. It's what gives the image a lot uh, more dimension and I'm also layering lighter grays on top of the um, light gray that I have here and that will um, highlight the image it will make the areas that are lighter uh, pop and areas that are darker recede and also gives her this nice little sheen that you can see in her fur so by blocking out colors like this, even before you add uh, fur details or any other details, is definitely a great place to start, especially if you're learning how to draw. So this is part one of my series. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the future videos. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Be sure to watch my previous pet portrait video as well as subscribe and check out my two other channels, Creative Pet Keeping, which is all about pets and it's really cute and fun. And also Creative Pink Unicorn, which is my random vlogging channel where I just post adventures or rants and fun things. Hope you have an awesome day and best of luck on your drawings.